Today I am once again going to be making music with the game Super Mario Maker 2 but this time I'm a little bit more prepared and I'm going to be making the entire song in only one course. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay so here we are once again inside of Super Mario Maker 2. Now if you haven't seen my first video where I made music in this game I highly suggest that you go and check that out first because in that video I actually went through and showed how I did everything and in this video I'm just going to jump straight in so things might get a little bit confusing if you haven't seen the first video but yeah anyway this time around I've actually gone through and drawn in a grid so I've just mapped out a 4-4 beat so we've got four beats per bar just like that. And now with this beat, because I'm trying to conserve items, I'm pretty much going to be playing one single note at a time. And I'm also going to be constructing the melody so it is kind of a percussive element, so that way I don't need to use too many drums. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and start building up our progression. I think I'm just going to start off with a very simple bass line. So for my first sound, I'm just going to be using these big boys right here. Yeah, there we go. That is actually sounding really nice. Now I'm kind of just hoping that I don't run into any problems with him throwing the hammers at me. That might be a little bit of an issue later on, but I can always work around that. Okay, so the first note that I'm going to put in is just going to be a C. <laughs> there we go. And then I'm also going to be putting in another C right about... Where should we go? Maybe here? Yeah, then let's go ahead and jump up to a G here. Ah, perfect. This is actually already so much easier having this beat grid in here. Now that should actually be enough. So now let's go through and put in our triggers. So I'll just copy this over, put one there. And there. Let's go! Okay, so that is actually sounding all right, but I'm just getting hit by the hammer. That should be all right. Let's go ahead and give that a try. Let's go! Yeah! Now I think I just need to switch things up for the end of this bass line. That sounds pretty good to me. Let's just go ahead and copy this big boy right up here. You can go up here. Perfect. Let's go! Oh, too easy! Now I might just need to build a ramp which goes all the way up over here so I don't get hit by any of the hammers. So now I've already made my first four bars of this song. Let's go ahead and have a listen to our bass line. I think I might just have it as a plain bass line for the intro, just so that I can make this song a bit longer without running out of space. Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> okay, I screwed that up. This note here is meant to go there, but apart from that, I think it was perfect. Let's go! Okay, so this one here keeps walking into this block after he already bounces off that. I'm not too sure why that is happening, but fixing this is actually pretty easy. So I'm just going to make it so he bounces off the block and jumps right up here with this guy. Let's go. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Unlucky. Yeah, that is perfect. Okay, so I think I've got a bit of a problem. I didn't plan this out properly and I don't actually have enough space to do what I wanted to do. I accidentally made it a bit too spaced out. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to move everything over, make it a bit closer, slow down the auto scroller. And then once I'm done with that, I can go ahead and move on to the next section of the song. This might take me a while. Do, 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 do. I think it was around here. Okay, so now I've just compacted everything down into a smaller size. Let's go ahead and see if it is working properly. Yeah, that is much better. So now I should be able to make my song a lot longer than I would have been if I carried on like this. I think if I duplicated over all of this original bass line that I had, I pretty much just would have reached the end of the level. Okay, so this has turned out to be a little bit of a disaster. So I've been having quite a few problems. Because these big guys here are triggering the music blocks, it actually makes a big difference with the timing if they're standing on this side of the block and if they're standing on this side of the block. So I can't actually have two of these music blocks with these two guys next to each other because they just play at completely different times. So it kind of throws the whole song off. So I've just had to go through and make some adjustments with my bass line where there were notes playing right next to each other. Like with this one here, I've just moved it up to be a higher D note rather than a low note. I'm just worried that I might run into some issues when I'm trying to bring in a melody like that. And this also means that I have to make Mario move all over the level because these guys here are throwing hammers all over the place. But yeah, anyway, it is looking like a complete mess. I'm gonna have to go through and tidy it all up and then I just need to copy it all over and I can start bringing in a main melody. 
So I've just finished tightening up this track. I've fully committed to this bass sound here. So I've gotten rid of all of the bricks around them. And I just tested out this level with the faster auto scroll speed. And I think I actually like it a whole lot more. Now that means that the song will finish a lot faster, but I think it works. Yeah. <laughs> it completely changes the vibe of the track, but I'm actually really liking it. Now for the second instrument, I'm just gonna write the entire thing with these mushrooms here. Now, just because I just switched up this bass line here, I'm not gonna go fully in with the melody right now. I will build that up later on. So I just wanna keep it simple now. So I might actually go for a G note. That looks pretty good to me. Let's just quickly test it out before I move on, see if it is working. Oh. That was a bit fast. I think I might actually need to move it over one block. Oh yeah. So now let's just copy this over. So I think we'll just put one. Hmm. <laughs> there. That is sounding good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate over this entire section here and then I'm going to start bringing in a more complex melody, something a little bit more traditional, something that is going to push me a little bit closer to the item limit. Ooh. There we go. Melody time. Let's go ahead and copy this mushroom. Now we'll go for a high C note. Easy. Okay, we need an F. My name is F. Where is F? Whoops. And then we're also going to need D sharp. What? Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay. Get rid of those. Nice. And I'll just bring this one here down to an A sharp. Where's that? Around here? God, this is turning into a mess. <laughs> so I've finished off my melody. I've made it to the end of the level. It is looking extremely messy right now. I think I might need to go through and tidy it up. And then I'm going to start bringing in some drum sounds as well as adding in some harmonic notes here and there if I've got any items left. So I can place around 75 drum sounds into a 16 bar section. I might actually just quickly draft in a little halftime beat. Now I do actually think the song would suit a faster beat, but I just don't want to hit the item limit too fast. If this halftime beat doesn't sound too bad, I'll just leave it as it is. But if it sounds horrible, I'll just do the faster beat and have less hi-hats or something like that. Let's go. Hey, <laughs> not sounding too bad. That snare actually sounds a bit low, so I'll just drag these up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That actually sounds really good. Now I'm just a little bit worried about the spacing with the song later on. I hope all of these drum sounds don't clash with the melody or the bass line. So far, so good. That is actually all right. I'm just having a little issue with this note here, but I don't think I'm actually gonna need that for these last four notes here. Okay, so now that I've figured that out, now I just need to copy over these hi-hats here. And then once I'm all done with it, I think I've actually got everything to finish off this song. So yeah, that actually came together pretty fast. Now I managed to perfectly max out the item limit for this song. That was just a total coincidence. I did not plan that at all. But yeah, anyway, here is my finished song made entirely inside of Super Mario Maker 2. Enjoy. So there we go, that is my second song, Made in Super Mario Maker 2. I definitely think that turned out a whole lot better than my first attempt. If you wanna check out the song for yourself, I've left the course ID down in the description. Now I was actually thinking that I might do another Mario Maker video 
in the next couple of weeks because I want to try out music loops. I have checked out a couple of videos. It does look a whole lot more complicated, but it means that I can make more complex songs without having to worry about the item limit. But yeah, anyway, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. Make sure to go ahead and let me know what you thought of it down in the comments, and I will see all of you in the next couple of days for my next upload. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Oh,